Hi, I'm Joel Santo Domingo, lead analyst at PCMag.com. Hard drives have been the traditional storage of devices in PCs since the mid-1980s when programs grew too large for floppy disks. And they've had a pretty good run. Early hard drives only held a few megabytes. However, now in many cases you can have a choice. You can either buy a traditional hard drive for your PC, or you can buy a solid-state drive, or SSD. What's the difference? Well, simply put, a hard drive is a spinning platter that stores your data like photos, music, and the files that your computer needs to operate. An SSD does the same job with a set of solid-state memory chips with no moving parts. SSDs are faster when you reboot your system or load new programs. They are also hardier and work even if your laptop is bouncing around when you're using it. The moving parts of a hard drive could eventually wear out or even damage itself if you drop your laptop while it's in use. What's the catch? Well, SSDs are expensive. A 500 gig hard drive is a commodity item, which costs on average about 50 bucks these days. A budget 500 gig SSD goes for around 200. Also, in terms of overall storage, large capacity desktop hard drives top out at around eight terabytes at just over $250. A two terabyte SSD can cost an eye-watering $4,000. Thankfully, a 128 gig SSD is perfectly usable at under $100 and is currently the sweet spot. Check out my article on PCMag.com for more, as well as reviews of thousands of other products.